Well, there's a, there's, I think there's a couple of really important things to note. Um, the first thing is, is, is that, um, that they know about their culture. They know who they are. And, uh, and I make sure that they know who they are. Um, and as these issues, because of what I do for a living, you know, they've become more and more prevalent in my life, um, that my kids are asking questions. And so I'm very open with them. I'll tell them exactly what these things mean. And, 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 you know, I'll give them both sides of it so they can sort of come up with their own ideas and their own opinions about these things. Um, but, uh, being indigenous children, you know, they're biased as well. So they're going to lean towards the, the indigenous side. Um, but helping them understand that there's these images in public and words that exist that are not native, even though they kind of pretend like they are. And, uh, and so they, my oldest daughter in particular, she, she understands those concepts. So one of the ways that I have to bridge that though, and one of the ways I have to, to deal with it is I actually have to coach her to not talk about those things in public, to not talk about them at school, because there's a real danger of her being bullied by a um, classmate or probably more, more dangerous and, and uh, more of a fear that I have uh, to be bullied by a teacher. Um, fans in this area are so rabid and so, I mean, they just don't care. And so um, to sort of talk down to a child would probably be a pretty easy thing to do. You know, for somebody who's not thinking about anything but themselves, which the fans usually are, are. 